Well, if you are stargazing over the next few weeks, you might notice this glowing green comet that NASA says hasn't been visible from Earth in almost 50,000 years. And if you want to see the comet with your own eyes, this is the only chance you're going to get. <laughs> it may not be an easy task either. New at 6 o'clock, meteorologist Matt Gray is here to help give us a better shot at checking it out, Matt. All right, and it's got a better name, by the way, than, uh, than that exoplanet for sure. So the thing here is nobody knows just how bright that this comet is actually gonna end up getting as it passes by us over the next few weeks. NASA says that's quite frankly, just not an easy thing to, uh, to predict at this point. Now, astronomers don't think this comet, which is named, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try here, C2022 C C3ZTF, Aaron did way better on his than I did, is going to be as bright as, is not going to be nearly as bright as the last comet that paid us a visit. That was Comet Neowise, which was a much easier name too, back in 2020. Now, any object in the night sky, it has what's called a magnitude. That is how bright it's going to appear from here on the ground. The magnitude for Comet ZTF is only expected to get up to around a six. That is the very limit of what the naked eye can see. Now it could get a little bit brighter than that before it makes its closest approach to Earth on February 1st. But when you factor in city light pollution, you are not going to see this one just by looking out the window. Binoculars in a dark country sky, we've had plenty of those around here, are the way to go. Now the comet is going to increase in brightness for the next three weeks before it makes that closest path to Earth at the start of February, and it will dim very quickly after that. So this long window of opportunity here is actually a pretty good thing because, as you may know, it is pretty cloudy around here this time of the year, so we may only end up with, say, one or two clear nights where we can actually see what's going on. Over the next couple of weeks, you want to look high in the northeast in the early morning for the comet. It's going to be just above it was kind of group of four stars there on your screen, which is part of the constellation Hercules. Now, by January 25th, the comet is going to appear right near the, the spoon of the Little Dipper there, high in the northern sky. You'll be able to see it in both the morning and the evening. Of course, you will probably need those binoculars. So by the time we get to February 1st, that comet is going to be opposite the Dipper as it begins its journey back out into the depths of space for another 50,000-year trip around the sun. Matt, you just made my day. I have binoculars. I don't have a telescope, awesome. but and <laughs> I know I where yours? the dipper is. Yeah, we can we can all see this. Awesome. That's awesome, Matt. Thank you.